Yo, what is up boys and girls, welcome back to yet another Black Ops 3 video and I haven't done a few in a while, I know I actually went on holiday to Germany, Berlin with my beautiful girlfriend um, throughout the last week. But yeah, I may have may as well have been away for about a year because I come back to play the game after only a few days and there's new weapons, there's new uh, specialist gear as well and I'm like what the hell is going on here and some of these weapons actually look pretty damn sick so I might actually have to do a uh, supply drop opening to try and get a few of those I've already opened up a few rare crates but unfortunately I haven't managed to pull any of the new stuff or any of the new weapons rather I have uh, a few friends that already have things like the iron gym the crossbow the uh, the sword as well which is probably my uh, personal favorite but yeah a little bit about the gameplay it's actually a nuclear gameplay in which I got on a 37 gun streak which is not too bad um, using the Vesper as you guys can see and this was pre the Vesper's nerf and it's actually made me really sad because the Vesper was by far my favorite gun in the game um, especially SMG wise and now that uh, you know it's just so absolute dog shit I'm not 100% sure what they actually did to it but I, you can definitely notice the recalls just shot up so that's really annoying but what can you do it was Treyarch's decision and there's just nothing we can do about it although I'm sure a lot of people will agree that it has kind of uh, even things out a little bit more I suppose personally like I've said I kind of wish they didn't uh, do anything to it because I just loved it so much as it was but I can't lie it was extremely overpowered especially medium range as well it was extremely easy to kill people with and as, as you guys can see here and throughout the gameplay this is how I actually managed to uh, go on the 37 gun streak with it. And one thing that surprised me was that they didn't, they didn't actually uh, include any new specialists. Now there, there have been a lot of rumours going around that there was going to be a 10th specialist. Um, obviously we haven't gotten to see it yet but you know I'm kind of wondering whether you know some of the new weapons have any meaning as to what a new specialist could possibly be like but yeah this is just my personal opinion obviously nothing is confirmed it's just me talking to you guys about what I would have liked to have seen or would like to see in any future updates or you know next time they uh, add some DLC into the game I definitely feel that obviously they, they uh, went in the right path by adding new weapons as Obviously the weapons we had were starting to uh, wear a bit thin so to speak, people were starting to get a bit bo bored of using the same things over and over again. I don't mean myself because I could happily use the Vespa um, well, for the duration of Black Ops 3, but unfortunately they've no, uh, nerfed it so I can't so yeah happy times for all my opponents then no, I'm just kidding I guess I'll have to diversify and start using other stuff other than this overpowered piece of machinery but saying that the weapons they have added actually do look pretty damn sick especially the sword as I've said uh, that just it looks absolutely amazing and the, the song it plays when you pick it up as well it's just really cool but you know in terms of specialists I am starting to get a bit bored with them as well I always end up using the same stuff now um, that being the combat focus I'll still do the hero challenges but other than that you know I just don't really see um, much use to anything else because I just love the combat focus so much I, it's, I think it's the one I put the best use or get the best use out of and I'm starting to think the same way about killstreaks as well I mean I've used them all um, quite extensively as well so you know I'm always rocking the Wraith, the Hater and the Raps that's pretty much all I ever use now I've got bored of the Mothership I went through a, a couple of uh, weeks where all I used was the Mothership and I'd get a couple of games you know and it made a nice change to just continuously running around and not getting in any killstreaks whatsoever I really don't know how I did not die here they literally just spawned all beside me as you can see after I've used the Hater I don't know what that guy was doing you know, the team, to be fair, that I was facing were not the best players by any stretch of the imagination. If anything, they were probably some of the worst um, people I've ever encountered. I'm not too sure what, why that is. Maybe um, I just got really lucky and faced a lobby where, you know, the opposition wasn't that great. Or maybe I was just going completely try hard. Either way, it's win-win. But yeah, I mean, speaking about new specialists, as much as I want them to add something new, I just don't see them doing it anytime soon. As obviously, you know, the new maps have just been released, as well as all these new weapons. So I think our best hope will either be the, the new or upcoming DLC, which, you know, will come with new maps as well, or just before or, or after the release date. Either way, I just hope they do add uh, something new just to keep things a little bit more interesting. I guess only time will tell though and I'm really happy that I finally managed to get a few more Unstoppables as well. As you guys know, I've been having problems with the Unstoppables for some reason. I've had quite a few nukes but only one Unstoppable before this gameplay. So it's definitely good to get some more on the board. But yeah guys, let me know down below your opinions on what you think they will add in the next DLC or the new patch. Whether you want uh, a new um, set of specialists or 
or not, let me know down below. But yeah, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Peace out.